ahead and change this toilet out because people who live here are getting old need a taller toilet to make it easier to get up and down actually those people are myself I'm uh, it's 35 years old so I'm gonna change it out today okay first we're gonna see if the water will shut off looks like it's going to I'm gonna get the water disconnected get the water out of the toilet I'm a little concerned about the new toilet fitting because you're supposed to measure from the wall out to the center of the bolt and it measures 11 inches technically the new toilet is 12 inch uh, rough end they call that measurement so not 100% sure the new toilet will fit they say if you rough in um, toilets can't come in 10, 12, and 14 rough end distance from the wall to the center of the toilet flange and uh, they said if it's in between sizes you need to go down a size but if we went from an uh, from a 12 down or a, we went from an 11 down to the next size smaller which is 11 toilet's gonna stick out away from the wall and I don't really want that so so we're hoping the 12 inch toilet will fit I haven't bought the toilet yet I'm gonna take this one off and get some measurement See if it'll fit. I don't know if this water valve shutting off all the way or not. Got a lot of water here. You might have to shut off the whole house if this valve ain't working. There, it looks like it shut off. Clean the floor a little bit, so what that'll do. Since the new toilet's are bigger, or are taller, we'll, we'll have to get a different hose, fill hose, to go from the valve up to the toilet, so. Okay, next we need to remove the, the bolts. These are actually what holds the toilet down. Okay. I'm gonna save those just in case we have to put this toilet back on. Do the same thing with the other side. Okay, got the ran up to the store and got the new toilet. Um, we uh, elected not to get the 
not to use the wax ring that comes with the toilet. They convinced me in the store that this is a lot better. It's kind of a foam plastic, I don't know what it is. Kind of a squeeze, soft squeezing ring. They said it'd last a lot longer. Probably just a way to sell more parts, but we're gonna we're gonna put that on here. I think with the last one I might have used the same thing, so as far as I know it hasn't leaked. So we're gonna get this put on there and then we'll be ready to set the toilet on. Um I think it just sets flat down on there. And then we'll be ready to set the toilet on top of it. I'm gonna read the instructions to make sure we put it on there right. Okay, it looks like it does fit best. I thought maybe it went this way, but it don't fit at all that way. So it does look like the round side goes down on the flange, but it fits pretty tight on here, just like that. So I'm gonna try setting the toilet on the flange with that already in place. Okay, now we'll... See if we can get the bolt lined up with the hole. Looks like I got that one side in. Nope, missed it. Okay, we talked about the rough end spacing before. I'm going to have to take this trim board off behind the toilet. And uh, I think we'll have enough room then. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to take the toilet back off and just cut that board behind the toilet. Just cut a little section out of there. Instead of taking the whole board off. Okay, I decided to saw it out of there. Well, we got the job done. There. I think that'll do it. Got it on there. Bolts line up. It's up against the wall. Inside, this side's got a little more light. Up against the wall. Bolt looks pretty straight up and down. I think we're good. We'll get a bolted down here and put the tank on. Okay, fasten this down. Put the little plastic washer. There's an up, up and a down side. That's what the cap clips to when you're done. Put that on. Then a uh, metal flat washer and then a wing nut. <laughs> Screw that down and kind of 
keep that centered I guess on the plastic washer I'm not gonna I'm not gonna clamp it clear down until I get the rear tank installed and make sure it's straight okay now we're ready to install the tank onto the toilet here's a rubber gasket that goes between the tank and the toilet it's got a step side there for this threaded part that comes out of the tank put that on there it should stay on there it's kind of a tight fit there it's on there secure and then we're ready to set the tank on okay now we're ready to set the tank in place got the rubber gasket on the bottom that we put on previously line the bolt holes up let it set Okay, now we're ready to put the flat washers in. There's two sets of flat washers. One with larger holes in it. Those are 5 16 on the tank. And a 5 16 wing nut. So, two different sizes of wing nuts, obviously. There's the flat washer. And the wing nut, put those on the, on the bolts. <laughs> kind of get them started at first, both sides. And then uh, kind of tighten them down evenly. I'm going to double check my gasket placement now. Yeah, it looks good. So we'll go ahead and start tightening those evenly. I'll give you a little room for your fingers. Kind of pushing down with my arm while I'm tightening this. Makes it a little easier. Okay. Got those tightened. It's pretty solid. Now just kind of eyeball it make sure it's straight with the wall and everything looks pretty good now we'll finish tightening our base screws put the caps on them kind of tightening them down evenly too okay Looks like we got a good solid mounting. <clears throat> Snap the caps over the the bolts. <clears throat> now we're ready to hook the water line up. I had to get a longer water line. Um, this is a this is a high rise toilet, so the old water line is too short. There's a water line comes through the pipe, and just like a lot of things, just too short. So we got a new 20 inch line 
to go from here up to there. 18 probably would have been a plenty, but we can deal with extra length. Plastic nut goes on the bottom of the toilet bowl. And contrary to what most people do, you're not supposed to tighten those with pliers. They're just meant to hand tighten. Do that and then we'll tighten this one down with a with an adjustable wrench. Some people call them crescent wrenches. That's just a brand name. Snug that up. Don't have to be real tight. It's sealed with rubber. Sealed. Don't need pipe dough on it. Don't need thread tape. It's got a rubber washer inside. So just snug it up. It should not leak. Just kind of curled the extra length up there. And there it hooked up. Now we'll go turn on the water, make sure we don't have any leaks. I didn't mention before that I shut the whole house water off because this valve didn't shut off all the way. It was leaking a little bit when I shut it off before. Um, I'm not a firm believer in water shutoffs at every sink and toilet and all that stuff because after a few years if you don't use them which most people don't they don't work so main thing is to keep your main shut off um, exercised I call it shut it off once in a while and that way you know it'll work in case you've got a water leak, you can just shut the whole house off, get your water leak taken care of. I never leave town for overnight without shutting our water off. I had a water heater once that uh, started leaking while we was gone and come home to a flooded house. So um, ever since that time, I've always uh, shut the water off when we leave and then turn it back on when we get home. I tell my customers, uh, appliance customers, I tell them to, that does two things. That pre prevents a leak and it also keeps your whole house water shut off valve working. So when you need it in an emergency, it'll, it'll function if you use it once in a while. So I'd suggest you do that. So I got the water back on, no leaks. And uh, water tank's full. Uh, might have to sh adjust the level. Um, we'll check that later. Toilet bowl filled with water. Um, I can play on it since it's a new toilet. Anyway, so you can see that it's full. Now I think all we need to do is put the toilet seat on. I guess if he was in a prison situation, you wouldn't do that. But anyway, it's in my house, so I'm going to put toilet seat on it. And then we'll assemble the lid with the, the actuator. Okay, now we got to put the the flush mechanism. Actually, the flush actuator. It goes in the lid of the uh, toilet tank. So if you look down in the toilet tank, there's a blue side and a gray side. On the actuator, you got a blue rod and a gray rod, so I assume it goes in like this. And it's got one drop and two drops on the button. The two drops obviously uses more water. I assume that it kind of corresponds with the number two. So. Okay, so we put this through the hole in the tank lid. There's the bottom side of it. So then just take the plastic nut, put it over it, and just snug it up. 
I wouldn't use pliers or anything on that. It's not going to go anywhere, so just snug it up with your fingers like that. And then we'll ready to put the lid on. Okay, we'll try it out here. Push the one drop. Flush is kind of a quick flush. Then we'll push the number two. Now it works. Now we're ready to do the toilet seat. Okay. Set that on there. It's got some. Might have to use a screwdriver to unclip that cover. So I'll do that. Just unsnap it. Well, well, it unsnaps from the closest to the seat side. So just fold it down and then cover them. Set them over the holes. Now we got the mounting hardware for the toilet seat. I haven't even opened the bag yet, but look at this one. Got one that's got the head on it, and this one didn't get manufactured correctly, and somebody packaged it up anyway, so probably gonna have to go get a new one of them. And then you got your two plastic nuts here. Just pull, put the bolts down through the top, and then put the plastic nuts on. Okay, got the toilet all installed. Got the water line hooked up. Water tank full. Tried the flush and I didn't like the way it flushed. It didn't flush like our other one that we had. It only flushed about half the amount of water that our other one does or that I would like. The way it was set up from the out of the box, I don't think it even flushed crap down the stool like it should. So anyway, um, no instructions were in the box that I could find to how to adjust that uh, flush valve. That's what you call the thing with the gray and the blue tabs on it. Those You push those to flush. <laughs> that one's for number one and then it's supposed to be about a half a flush and then the gray one does full flush. Well... After doing some research on the internet, I finally found out how to adjust it. So anyway, to adjust it to the way I like it to flush, um, you just take it, grab a hold of the top of it, and you twist it until it stops. Um, not quite a half a turn, and then just lift it straight out, and then it'll it'll drain some water and stuff like that. Now, I don't remember where it was set, the settings were to begin with, but uh, these, these tabs slide up and down. This one slides up like that, and then it slides down. I had to use a screwdriver to get it to slide down, but it was in the full up position when I took it out. Now, the, the other one, that's for the, that's for the full flush adjustment. This is for the half flush, or this is for the half flush adjustment. You'd think that 10 would be the max. Well, it's not. Um, this slides up and down. Um, you just press in and slide that up and down. So I slid it all the way down as far as it would go, and that seemed to give it the most water on a half flush. So anyway, slide both adjustments down all the way and that'll give you the most water on a flush which I think is kind of critical for more than one reason not only to help flush the toilet but also to help clear your sewer lines I think a lot of these low water usage devices sometimes are detrimental because they don't flush enough water through them to keep them cleaned out like they need to be so Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave mine is a uh, uh, full, full load of water. Well, the half is still not, near, it's still only about half as much as the full, but uh, they're set on the maximum amount for each setting. So, anyway, if you're, if you're wondering how you can get them to flush right, because this definitely did not flush right out of the box. So. Okay, so we're all done with the 
toilet installation. I'm guessing removable removal and installation of the new toilet probably took a total of an hour, uh, maybe a little bit longer, because we had to deal with that trim in the back there behind the toilet. And we'll go ahead and flush it so you can see what a toilet looks like when it flushes, if you care about that. So we're going to do the full flush. <laughs> If you have any questions about the install or comments, leave them down below and I'll try to get them answered. Thank you.